Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're not new and you're like, wait, who is this person I'm subscribed to? It's just me, the world's like worst YouTuber in the history of YouTube. So today, oh, sorry, I came with my phone on silent. Today, I am going to get ready to go to the pumpkin batch. So I thought it'd be a fun like back into YouTube type video because it's like Halloween season, so. Okay, so I already did my skincare this morning. I did my moisturizer. Good to go there. So we're going to start with the Rare Beauty. Oh, oh no. Pore Diffusing Primer. This is my tried and true. love this primer. It's so good. I still have like that much. And just pop it into wherever I want my face to look smoother. So that's what we're going to do. I figured this could be like a little like chit chat video get ready just like super low-key um i don't know don't really know where it's gonna go but i have a couple little breakouts right now i don't know if it's a mix between just that i haven't washed my brushes in like months so i washed all my brushes last night they are like super clean and i was actually shocked by how clean they actually look because they were filthy so i also thought that this could be a fun little like I don't know, like a fall look, you know, some of my vibes are going to be like pumpkin patch. Since I'm going to a pumpkin patch, I'm going to do like oranges and just like fall, like warm colors. We're going to go in with, ew, the sun, I'm sorry. Sorry guys. We're going to use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is in Salzburg. And my pump is broke. Do you see that? Like it doesn't, when you pump it, it like leaks out juices. So I just shake it up. And then I just, honestly, guys, I just put it on like this. and just, like, swipe it on my face. So, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so the hair is kind of pulled back. Voila. I'm just using this uh, Sephora foundation brush. It's, like, the dome-shaped one. And I like to just kind of press slash, like, like, blend it in. You know what I mean? I feel like when you kind of, like, press it in, it just gives a nice, like, fuller coverage. So we're doing that. I really wish I had a spray tan right now because I'm going to go get one maybe tomorrow. But I wish I had a spray tan because I feel like this look would be so much cuter if I had a little bit of color. But I'm pretty pale right now. Alright, so let's get into the chit chat part, portion of this. So I was thinking about it a lot lately. I'm like, why am I struggling to film you know what i mean like why am i struggling to post because i love posting i love youtube and i've been doing it like so regularly for two years well first off i did have a lot of like big life changes that happened this year and so like it's just been kind of on that boat of just i don't know just figuring things out and yeah that but i think besides that i think another thing that has kind of like kept me from posting i have had this problem let me know if you guys had this like same problem with things but i notice it's a common like a common thing that i that i do to myself but when i make a goal and i reach that goal it's almost like i don't want to like push any further like i like i'm almost like halted by my goals does that make sense so um i'll give you guys an example of like what it made me think of with youtube so i always since the first video i ever posted i always thought like i just want to get to a thousand subscribers and it'd be so cool and that was kind of like my goal like, like i'm just gonna try to get to a thousand subscribers so i hit a thousand subscribers like maybe like in march ish and now i don't like post and i think that it's because i like reached that goal and then now i'm like well like i don't know like i'm like self-sabotaging does that make sense let me know what do you guys think and if that is something that you do or if you know anything about like why like why am i doing that like i do that all the time with things in my life like i don't know like i get the goal and then i'm like done like not even gonna try to go further all right foundation is done let's go into concealer this is the milk flex concealer i love this stuff you guys i know i when I got it, I read a lot of like mixed reviews on it, but I love it. I feel like it doesn't crease. It just like goes on so nice. It's like a nice like consistency. 
it's gorgeous so we're gonna put a little bit of that like just on the inside here um and i usually do it on both sides i've been really into brightening up like the inside of my face like the center of my face i just feel like i don't know it's cute and then i'm gonna pop in a little bit of the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer just to add some like a little glow i'm just gonna pop a little bit down there and then we're gonna use the kat von d or kvd number 10 brush don't even know if they make this anymore but looks like it's very new but it's not because i just washed my brushes so i'm just gonna blend that in i like to focus it here and then just like lightly bring it up under my eyes just so i don't get too much product there and I like this brush because I can just really get it. Like, I don't know. Just feel like it fits nice. So, let me know, guys. What are you up to? What have you been up to since I haven't been posting? I'll kind of give you guys a little insight on what my life has been like. It's been boring. Like, I haven't really done too much, to be honest. Um, so, let me live through you. What have you guys been doing? What have you been up to since I've been gone? Okay, we're gonna pop a little bit of that concealer just right right there i've also been a little bit self-conscious about my forehead like i feel like i have a five head i don't know so i've been really focusing like the highlighting lower and then just contouring a lot like bringing the contour down a lot more too um this is gonna be all over the place so enjoy i really want to do vlogmas again this year that's such a hefty large goal considering i can't even figure out how to post like once a month so maybe like i'm gonna start like easing my way back into it and then just like go full force in december we'll see and then another thing that's like completely like way off topic guys i kind of want to dye my hair red i don't know why but i kind of do um so let me know do you think it'd be cute with red hair i've been blonde like my entire life with a few random bouts of dyeing my hair dark for like a month and then realizing that that's just not me so i don't know if that'd be a mistake but we'll see like why not you know what could it hurt is is it hard to go back like if i do red like if you're a cosmetologist or like know anything about hair if i did red like not like like dark dark red but like i'm thinking like a light red like a coppery red or something but like is it hard to go back to being blonde if you dye your hair red or if you've done it before let me know um we're gonna go in with the fenty matchstick this is in the shade trouble it's a little bit dark for my non-spray tan skin but we're doing it and if you blend it out it's really not that bad so i've also been not doing like the like i'm just looking the cheek thing like i've been doing just like a little bit higher because i have noticed that my face is kind of starting to sag a little bit like that's disgusting like just the word like sag like my saggy face so i've been focusing things kind of you know lift lifting i'm gonna be 32 next month what the heck time goes so fast i feel like I feel like I'm still in college. But then when I look at college kids, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys look like babies. My brushes kind of smell like the stuff I washed them with. Okay, now I'm going to show you my... I like kind of pull my hair back like this when I do it. Don't worry, this is all going to come together. It's going to be cute. That is a lot of contour. Not made to do that much, but. Oh, this is a real technique. So I think it's a buffing brush. So I love this for blending out contour. I feel like it really like blends it out, but not in a. But it still like makes it look like really natural. It's like kind of my thing. You know, just natural. It's not like looking right. So 
This looks funny. I wonder if I didn't get all the soap out of this and it's just like breaking up my makeup. That would just not be ideal, would it? I don't know, let's just keep going. It'll work itself out. All right, let's go in with some blush. Okay, we're gonna use the Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Love. It's kind of like a terracotta-y, orangey, just pretty fall color. And I am using a, I don't even know what brush this is. Schmelissy Glam, Sliss Me, Schmelissy. SL Miss Glam, I don't, I don't know. It looks like this, it's just kind of like a more tapered brush. I feel like I really wanna like kind of focus it like put the blush where I want it to go and I feel like a little bit more dome shape brush allows you to do that so pull a little dot of that here I just work with one side at a time when I'm using the rare blushes and I'm just gonna kind of tap and blend I feel like with blush you can kind of go a little bit heavier like it looks super dark but it kind of like wears off really fast so I feel like it's okay to go a little bit heavier with your blush and I also Really, I've been focusing it up more towards the eye. I don't know why. I think it looks really, like, youthful. That was Coda. And cute. If you guys are curious how Coda's been, he is doing good. He's kind of got allergies. Oh, there he goes. You might see him limping. So, he's been eating his feet. Like, he's, like, chewing on them. We always tell him, like, stop eating yourself. But he has been chewing on the back of his feet. And so, they're, like, his pads are all, like ripped up and stuff and we can't get him to stop we've tried so many different things he's currently on a steroid but i don't love giving him a steroid just because there's like just different side effects that i don't really love with that the allergy medication that he was on before that worked really well for him i can't think of what it was called they discontinued which is a bummer because it worked so good for him and there was like virtually no side effects a little bit of blush up on my forehead just to kind of make everything go together okay i'm gonna go check on him i think he maybe wants to go outside and then i'll be right back and we can keep going okay i'm back we're gonna go in and we're gonna set my face now with the maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder so i just pick up a little bit I usually kind of do the center of my forehead because that's kind of where I get a little bit like oily throughout the day. And then we're going to go under my eyes but just very lightly. So I kind of focus more right here and then it's like any extra product I bring under my eye because I don't like to have too much powder under there. Um, okay, so going forward here on YouTube, we'll go back to that conversation because it's on my mind. Um, I'm thinking what if I did just like one video a week just kind of working my way back into it and then maybe i just need to set like another goal for myself like i don't know what do you guys think um we'll see i think that i think that'd be good we have to pick another goal and then just do like one video a week and then yeah i don't know let me know okay i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then we'll come back with eyebrows and we'll do some like orangey eyes up here okay be right back okay brows are done i didn't get to use my normal like eyebrow pencil because mine was out and i need to go buy a new one but i usually use the huda um let's see huda bomb brows because i just love the tip is so like can't show you guys but it's like the finest little point and it's perfect um so I couldn't use that and I had to use the Sephora collection one and so they just look a little they look a little rough but it's fine we're gonna work with it all right I'm gonna take this brush it's the Vasanti I don't know I like I really have been loving this like dome shaped end and I'm actually gonna use my Maybelline fit me powder we're just gonna set my eyelids because I forgot to do that before so I'm gonna take this brush that I used for concealer just kind of press everything back down because it is starting to crease and set them one tip i have for you guys is never never set or put powder over like if your eyelids are creasing from concealer or like an eyeshadow primer because then you're going to set those creases in place and they'll be there all day so i'm just doing this just kind of as a little base coat Perfect. 
So now we're going to go in with the color block palette from Huda. And this one is just so fun. There's like lots of bright purples and oranges. But I think we can make it look folly if we just use the oranges. So we're going to use a Morphe M441 for an eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pick up, I think, let's do this color. Because that's kind of fun. We're going to try it. I don't know if I've ever used that one. And I actually got a lot of product on there. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. And just swipe it back and forth. I'm not pressing very hard at all. Just very lightly. Just kind of as that first color. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and do the other side. This first shade, I really like to just really blend it because it's going to kind of be that transition shade between other colors. So I'm just really making sure it's blended out and you don't see any like harsh lines or anything. Okay, let's, I'm going to pick up this like orangey color now with a little bit smaller brush and I'm just going to blend that into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit and while I'm doing that I saw something else I want to tell you guys so I think I want to redo my makeup room because right now the vibe is just not here I also want to make it kind of be maybe not necessarily like a makeup room anymore but like an office or like kind of like my space in the house where I can just like feel like comfortable and just like hang out and like do my makeup if I want to but also like if I want to sit and read a book or like watch a movie, like I could do it in here. So I don't know. We'll see. I I don't know. I just want to make it. I just want to make it more cozy. Okay. I don't know if I'm loving this, but we're going with it. I'm doing it a little, just a little bit lower. Hmm. I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. Just kind of figure out what the vibe is going to be i like that that first color i used it kind of goes with the shirt okay i'm going to pick up that brush i used right away and one that oh when i use that orange color this is the morphe m514 I'm liking it a little bit better as i'm blending that All right, we're gonna pick up a completely different palette. This is the Huda Mercury Retrograde. You can maybe still find it, but I know it's one that was like a limited edition or like not being made anymore. But I'm just gonna use that shade here. It's a good one for like brightening up. And I'm gonna get this little tiny brush. This is the Sephora Pro Shadow number 15. And we're gonna just put that kind of more on the inner corner just to keep it right in there not a lot just a little bit okay we're just popping all over different eyeshadow palettes um this is a little tiny natasha denona it is the mini sunset palette and i think i'm going to take that kind of like goldeny color and just add a little pop of like fun golden golden shine we're gonna do that on the outside here actually we're gonna kind of go i don't know we'll go kind of far in and this brush is the morphe m421 i don't love this brush but i actually should have used a different one for this because this isn't really a little bit too small let's go a little bit further in actually should we just do my whole eyelid even though i just put that light color okay i'm gonna pick up that very first brush i use and just kind of blend again honestly guys i'm kind of feeling like over this so that might be all i'm gonna do for my eyeshadow um now I'm going to take the Sephora Collection Eyeliner Brush Tip Liquid Liner. Love this stuff. I literally have like 10 backups because I think this was also discontinued. Sorry, I'm sharing like all this discontinued stuff. 
and we're just gonna do like a little wing liner it's probably gonna turn out big because every time i do little like it gets long so okay perfect um i'm gonna do the other side Whoa, my eyes are like not adjusting um do the other side quick and then i'll be right back all right eyeliner is done on both eyes not without a little struggle you can see it got a little blacked up there so i'm going to go ahead and just brush through my eyelashes i always do that before i curl them just so that i don't okay i ran out of memory on my camera so i went in with the mascara i went in with the rare beauty Ma universal mascara on this side now i'm gonna go ahead and do this side as well i honestly did not even notice it wasn't recording so oops and then I'm, i try to be careful when i'm putting on mascara but also like i'm not super careful because mascara is so easy to clean up if you just let it dry and then use a q-tip after it's dry and just kind of like spin over it it just like pulls up the mascara so um if you see that it's all over my eyelid i'm not too concerned about it all right let's put it on the lower lash i just use whatever's left on the wand okay perfect let's go ahead and do lips okay so for my lips i'm going to use this la colors nude glam auto lip liner i don't really love it but i liked the color so yeah let's do it all right it doesn't really like give good payoff you have to kind of press hard i'm just gonna line my lips and then swipe it up onto my lips as well The Fenty Gloss Bomb, and this is in Fenty Glow. It's a nice, pretty, like, neutrally orangey fall color. Okay, so as a finishing touch, we're going to use the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Always an Optimist setting spray. And this is, like, a super hydrating setting spray so if you like that like glow and just like refresh throughout the day this stuff is awesome and i'm just gonna hold it as far away as i can and just do a couple sprays and fan it out all right that is it for my makeup i'm gonna show you guys kind of the hair oil that i've been using lately so i'm gonna go grab that quick and i'll be right back okay so this is the bean french it's the Ashley Tisdale oil, and it's a hair and body oil, and this is in the scent Cashmere Vanilla. So I've really been liking it for my hair when I have my hair curled like this. I just feel like it like adds some definition um, and looks super cute. So we're going to just put a little bit in my hand and rub that together. The nice thing is since it is a hair and body oil, you can rub it into your hands afterwards. And I'm just going to put that on the ends only. Just to kind of, like I said, add a little bit of definition and shine. Run a little bit through the tops. See, like, doesn't it like, just like add life to it? And then I just rub the rest into my hands and it gives it a little like hand oil hydration situation so okay guys that is it we're gonna head off to the pumpkin patch now um i'm gonna try my best to do at least one video a week let me know if you have any recommendations if you guys prefer like makeup videos or organization or declutter i love decluttering anything and everything so yeah that's it thanks so much for watching thanks for sticking around i appreciate you guys more than you will ever know all right i love you guys bye